This is Voice of the Priests with Pastor Dr. Otive Ibuzo, the General Overseer of the Palace of Priest Assembly, PPA. Join us on a transformative journey of triumphant Christian living, discovering divine purpose, and embracing the majestic calling to reign as kings and priests. Listen and watch as you step into the Voice of the Priest with Pastor Dr. Otive Ibuzo. Your destiny awaits, and it's time for it to be unveiled. Holy Spirit. Of the we are continuing on our series of separation. And today the topic is call to separation. Call to separation. When God called us from darkness into his marvelous light, it's a call to separation. In 1 Peter 2.9, the Bible says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him, who called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. The call of God upon our lives is a call for separation. It's a call in three dimensions. First, to come out from the midst of them because you are unique, you are peculiar, and you are special. Second, to separate yourself, to set you apart for the service of God. And thirdly, a call for you to come out and touch no unclean thing. For you not to compromise with sinful values and behavior. My dear brothers and sisters, the ultimate purpose of the call of God upon our lives is to bring us to glory. That is the ultimate. The Bible is very clear. In Romans chapter 8, verse 30, the Bible says, Moreover, who he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. So ultimately, from predestination to call to justification and then to glorification. So the ultimate purpose of God calling us into separation is to bring us to glory. So the call of God is a call to separation. In Numbers chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When either a man or woman consecrates an offering to take the vow of a Nazarite, to separate himself to the Lord. That is the emphasis. Separate yourself to God. When God calls you from darkness into his marvelous light, it's for you to separate yourself. It's to, it's to live a life of separation. And this call for a life of separation is for both men and women. And the call is mandatory. It is mandatory. That's why the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable sense. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be not be conformed to the standard of this world. There is a standard of this world. The standard of this world is corruption. The standard of this world is adultery. The standard of this world is fornication. The standard of this world is deceit. The standard of this world is backbiting. The standard of this world is wickedness. But the Bible is enjoining us not to conform to this standard. God is calling us to separation, not isolation. It is an insulation as we reach the sinners. Call to separation is a call to love. God calls us to a new life with him and it begins with separation. Separation from worldly heritage. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. That's what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. So we need to be separated from worldly heritage. We need to, it's a call for separation from unbelievers. The Bible is very clear in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 16. The Bible is very clear. In 2 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. 
So we need to be separated from unbelievers. Fellowship means intimate relationship. We should not have fellowship with non-believers. Not that we should not talk with them, not that we should not interact with them, but we should not have intimate relationship with them. We should not be unequally yoked with them. We should not have communion with them because communion requires covenant. You know, what we need to do is to meet with unbelievers to bring them into the kingdom not to meet them and participate in their sin. That's why the third separation is separation from sinful practices. Sinful practices. Sinful practices. The Bible tells us not to touch an unclean thing. In 2 Corinthians 6, chapter verse 17, 2 Corinthians 6, 17, the Bible says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, say the Lord, and Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. If you touch an unclean thing, God will not receive you. So you need separation from sinful companion. You need separation from sinful occupation. You need separation from sinful places. So separation activates God's promise. Uh, we know the account of Abraham and Lot in Genesis chapter 13. As soon as Abraham and Lord separated. God began to speak to Abraham concerning land and descendant. You need some separation to release blessings. Don't be unequally yoked. I'm so, you know, we have to work with wisdom. If you know somebody is leading you to destruction, you need to separate yourself from him. If you know somebody is not going anywhere, you don't need to go with that person. If you know somebody is destroying your life. You need to separate yourself from that person. God has called you to live a life of separation. Have you responded to that call fully? Are you separated from worldly things? Are you separated from sinful practices? God has called you to live a separated life, not as punishment, but for your good and for your blessing. I challenge you today to activate the blessing of God upon your life by living a life of separation. And my prayer is that the Almighty God will help you to fully respond to the call for separation. And as you live a separated life, God will make it possible for you to live a triumphant Christian life, for you to serve God and humanity, for you to reign as kings and priests, and fulfill destiny, the reason, the purpose for which we are created. God bless you. Till another time when we bring you another edition of Voice of the Priest. Stay blessed and reign as kings and priests. You are here. As we conclude this enlightening journey with Voice of the Priest, we invite you to join us at the Palace of Priest Assembly, PPA. Visit us at Ebenezer Place, Durumi 2, after Erofayi Park, Abuja, where the sacred meets the profound. Explore more at www.priestassembly.org and connect on social media. Follow the Palace of Priest Assembly on Facebook and Priest Assembly on Twitter. For life is meant for thriving, not just a existing worship with us at ppa where you are not just a participant but a cherished member of the kingdom be empowered to live a better life you are a king and a priest destined to fulfill your divine purpose join us soon at the palace of priest assembly as we journey together towards purpose triumph and service don't just exist thrive with us i know you are here here in your power, I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit.